the dash jewels. Hey, where'd you put mom's stuff? We can't break or lose anything on the way to Auntie's, so bring it here. Julie! I'll let you keep it in the front as long as it stays by your feet. All right, fine. What was that? Oh, that was... Sorry, I farted. You never admit when you do. Hey, it was just my IBS. Chill. What did I say about holding mom? To not... But what are we doing stuffing her in a box full of crap? She should be up here with us. That box full of crap's gonna protect her on this trip. I'm not taking any chances. No! Look, I can hold her. I'll keep her in her box. I'll keep the bubble wrap on. I'll pack in my sweater. Okay, fine. I'll put her back. But only if you take me to Colorado with you. It stays in the box. Not in the mood for sandwiches, huh? Mind if I join you? Great. <sighs> Man, I could never get tired of this view. Feels weird, doesn't it? Being here without her. Remember that time Mom found a trapped coyote pup? Or when that diamond dove flew into our car? Or when she joined that pot circle with the grandmas? Yeah, when she joined that... Wait, she what? When was this? Sometime two years ago. Pretty sure you were back in school at the time. Mom wouldn't let me join, but a Korean granny let me sneak in a hit. Forgot how much she loved pot. So much so, she'd flip out on us whenever we ate brownies. Yeah, <laughs> when she thought we found her stash. Who gave them to us again? The first time was from Mrs. Keegan, but the second time... We said was from her. We couldn't wipe our stupid grins off for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Could we please just go to Colorado? I thought we were past this. But there's still time to talk about it. Look, you'll have a shorter distance to drive, and if you could just take a look at what I've bookmarked. I've got high schools, part-time jobs, apartments, all close to your campus. I've even got a list of crap cars for when I get my license. You won't have to worry about any of that with Aunt Jane. She'll take better care of you. You'll be just fine. A half-distant relative won't take care of me just fine. I don't get why I have to go live with her when it would be the same as living with you. Mom wouldn't want us to be apart like this. Yeah, she wouldn't. But she's not around to watch over us anymore. What are you doing? Julie. Hey, stop! Stop! Let, let go! Let go! Let go! Up. Hey, don't 
don't mix her with the dirt. She's layered so thinly over it, how can I not? What were you thinking taking the wrap off? I just wanted to scatter some of her ashes. Oh, well, is this what you wanted? Because she looks pretty scattered to me. not, I'm gonna put this in the trunk. So, yes. Aunt Jane's expecting us by 11, so let's go before it gets too late. But, you know, we can squeeze in another stop along the way. Anything you want to eat or see? Let's go to the cove. looks different than when we last came here. Yeah, that's because the last time was five years ago, right before Dad died. Right. Five years. It's sad, isn't it? What is? The last time we were here, it was four of us. Now it's just two of us. Next time it might be one of us, or none of us at all. But you know, I think the sadder thing is this cliff. Five more years of being beaten by the sea, and what do you think it'll look like then? It might look worse, but it'll still be here. It's not like whatever pebbles broken off will dissolve into nothing. It'll just float around in the ocean. It's still something, just no longer here. In this case, what are you? The pebble or the ocean? The pebble, duh. What? You don't think so? No, because what kind of pebble wants to break off on its own? So I do want to come to the coast. Mom deserves to be where she's happiest. So. Maybe I'm not breaking away just yet. And you ought to be where you'd be happiest. So why don't we just go to Colorado? 